All right, so we are here at the NOLA.com Alcohol Free for 40 Challenge. So we did it last year. We had a great, great response. The idea is to go 40 days without drinking, which a lot of people do that for Lent anyway. But the extra part is to make it your own self-experiment. So the idea to get your labs done before and then also after. And that's where we saw a lot of people didn't do that last year. So they joined in the challenge. We have people from literally all over the world and all over the U.S. but not getting their labs. So tonight we're here at NOLA.com headquarters. We've got labs going on upstairs, so Oshner Health System and Oshner Blood Bank have been so generous to donate labs for 150 people. We're screening them for free. So we're kind of making it a party too, so come in, get your lab work done, but we're keeping the blood upstairs. Then we've got the party here, so, and our awesome EFIT crew signing people in. Hey, y'all. Hi. Facebook. So this is our Eat Fit Nola crew signing people in, so kind of giving them the lay of the land. So sign in here. For those who did the Eventbrite, signed up for the first 150. They go straight upstairs, get their labs done. Then we've got the party happening in here. So this is, we basically brought in our Eat Fit um, partners. So we've got five of our Eat Fit partners here who are doing Eat Fit mocktails, Eat Fit food. So not only is it alcohol free cocktails, it's also things that are low sugar, they're also good for you as well. So we've got five of them, we've got food, drink, so kind of making it fun. Let's go look and see what we've got. Okay. So we're on Facebook Live. Hey, 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 hey everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so we've got Alexis Hi. with Big Easy Boot Chef. Yeah. So Alexis, and we've also got Megan. Hi, Megan. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to tell them what, what shall we're making up? Yeah, so this is our Bayou Berry Fojito. It's like a mojito, but of course, no rum. Alcohol free for 40. Super refreshing. Just muddle the fruit, just like you would a mojito. Top it with our Bayou Berry Kombucha. Easy. Made in New Orleans. Win-win. Yay. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. And I'll pop in. If you haven't tried kombucha, you've got to try it. My favorite is their um, Cajun Kick. It's got a little bit of cayenne. You don't even need to mix that with anything to make a mocktail. Just pour it in a glass, and that's kind of just, it has a little bit of a fermented, ailey beer type taste, and that could be a perfect sub for your evening cocktail. So next we've got Dick and Jenny. So they were actually one of our fantastic Eat Fit Nola partners. They have a lot of Eat Fit items on their menu. So we've got their beet salad is the food that they're offering. And then the mocktail that we've got them doing is the Kiwi Collins. Thank you. What do you mean? Oh. You want yeah. me to tell you what it is? Oh, Can all right. You tell us your name. My name's Fred. This is the shaved brussel and beef salad mixed with feta cheese, spiced pecans, and it's topped with our OJ basil vinaigrette. Come down to Dick and Jenny's and get a bigger portion if you would like. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> and this is our Kiwi Collins mocktail, which is a Kiwi puree. Obviously, we have our setups right here for anybody who wants to take one home and try it out. That's just the ingredients. Uh, we have this going on right now for the Lent season, so come to so Dick and Jenny's. So, anyone can come in and order a few yeah. Yes, Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. And what's fantastic is we have the recipes for everybody here, and then throughout the Alcohol Free for 40 Challenge, we'll be posting these recipes on social media, so we're not going to just support them here. You can also make them at home, or stop by Dick and Jenny's anytime during Lent. So next we've got Sobu. So with Sobu, So with Sobu, we'll come back and we can get the full rundown, but we've got their naked kombu. Sorry, so this it was is... vegan. Oh, That's perfect. Okay. So we're at Facebook Live and Nola.com if you want to share. Oh, awesome. So this is pineapple and elderflower kombucha with honey, sage, and muddled strawberries. And it's called the naked kombu. And we serve it at Sobu. And it'll be on the menu throughout the Oh, yeah. It's been on the menu for a little while. And it'll be on the menu probably like... All summer. I think it's a really great cocktail and it's just nice to have an option. Fantastic. So more from our big easy parts. Alright. Then we've got Seed. So Seed is a vegan restaurant or, or very plant-based, vegan heavy. Um, so they've got some fantastic mocktails. This is, we'll let you guys tell us. Hello. Hi. Oh, how you doing? 
Well, we, we are seed. We are. We're seed. I'm Craig. This is Eli. Okay. And uh, tonight we have for you an E-Fit dish that we also serve at seed, which is vegan veggie etouffee. This is the last of it. We're almost out and we're pretty much going through it pretty quickly. It's tomato based. It also has a lot of different good veggies in it. Zucchini, carrots, corn. 1330 Britannia, we have all the good things over there, good veggies. Eat fit and the meals, they have it all over there. For the good cocktails, mocktails, we have my guy Eli here. So right now we have uh, two things. We have a strawberry pineapple breeze. Uh, so strawberry pineapple liqueur coconut water. And over here we have a avocado cilantro margarita. So avocado, cilantro, lemon, lime, orange juice. Which I'm making some more right now. So watching it a little bit of avocado and we have some cilantro it gives, it gives a little it opens it up so it gives it a little smack opens it right up so you can get a little whiff a little whiff of the camera uh, <laughs> A mixture of lemon, lime, orange juice, a little bit of ice. <laughs> Someone said, mm, <laughs> Oh, that's Caroline. She's our marketing director. <laughs> All right. Strain, and we're going to serve with ice. perspective it's still really really good for you it's still low in sugar so it's eat fit and alcohol free one of the things we ran into last year was some people were saying well I actually gained weight when I gave it up alcohol because they were drinking so much sugar so we've got more blood work going upstairs thanks y'all you coming for your A2 now you want it now are you ready for it I'm so vegetables, some butternut squash, sweet potatoes, turnips, and marinated mushrooms. Uh, this is a version of an Eat Fit dish that we have on our menu at Cafe Adelaide, um, but we always have at least two or three Eat Fit items on our menu so everybody can get ready for bikini season. <laughs> So this is green and granite mocktail, and it's going to consist of pomegranate juice, a little lemon juice, a little honey, and of course some green tea, and a little sprig of mint. It's good. It <laughs> pairs well with this, but this is one of the mocktails we're serving her at the Swizzle Stick, so yeah, come on by. So as you can see, we've got lots lots happening, so we've got our Alcohol Free for 40 kickoff party. This is our second annual Alcohol Free for 40 challenge. So if you've got any questions throughout the challenge, you can always post it on social media, you can email me. Uh, my link is my link to the email is in all my columns. We um, also are doing an email kind of almost like a support group by email. So um, if you're interested in being on that, just send me your email and I'll include you. We blind copy everybody. But that's a way that we kind of share feedback from what's working for other people, challenges that others have had, things that they found that maybe work for them or kind of hurdles or victories. And what the feedback we've had is that kind of hearing what everyone else is going through and knowing that these others are going through this alcohol free for 40 with them, kind of as motivation to help stay on track with it ourselves. So we, it's all 
private, all confidential, but it's very interactive and it's very supportive. So email me with anything that you've got, email with any questions, or post your questions on social media, and we are happy to help. Thanks, y'all. Do you want to share maybe um, three tips that people oh. um, can take with them? Because um, this is the kickoff. Yes. You know, we just ended fat, Mardi Gras yes. season, Fat Tuesday. So maybe like three big um, takeaways or tips to kind of kickstart this. The biggest thing I would say is you've got to plan. Because what's going to happen is there's the times that you're going to crave that cocktail. And so some people, every single day at that certain time, they know that they're going to pour that glass of wine, they're going to pour that cocktail. And if that's, even if it's not every day, if it's just some days or those like stressful days, when that feeling hits, it almost can feel like itchy. It can feel like you're almost like uncomfortable because you're so used to that habit of pouring that drink. So you've got to anticipate it and know that that's going to happen. So what are you going to do when it happens? So sometimes it might be, what drink am I going to have instead? So I had somebody earlier tell me when they've got that TV time, they're watching the news at night. He's, he's an older guy. He's been drinking scotch his whole life wow. during that window of time while I watches the news. What's he going to have in that glass now? So he's kind of thinking about what's his transition going to be and what's he going to do in that transition time. For some people, it's also getting themselves out of that space. So it may be that during that time at home, you, you actually leave. It might be going for a walk with your partner or doing something besides just sitting on the porch and having that cocktail. Maybe you go for a walk. It can be something that's distracting with your hands, something that occupies your mind. But knowing that for a lot of us, it's that transition time from go, go, go of the day to when we unwind at night. We're using that cocktail. We've got to plan what are we going to do in those wishing hours instead. So that's my biggest tip. Hey, right. great. Thank you. Well, thanks so much. And thanks, um, make sure you use the hashtag alcohol free for 40. And, um, you know, Molly's going to be having updates every week. And stick with us. Thanks, guys. Thanks, y'all.